leaving Sebastian Inlet now, I'm diving north, I'm gonna find that Publix parking lot. And uh, just to scope it out as a new spot, especially to get sand fleas, because they are really difficult to find. Alrighty, it's gonna be at least 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna reset my mileage. Zero it is, let's go. Woohoo! It is way too nice today. Good day to go offshore. See a big boat though. Well, I just passed by the Publix and obviously uh, they were talking about Ponce Inlet State Park, which I'm familiar with, so it's nothing new. However, I did see a new pull-off just make a U-turn and go back. It was 7.6 miles down from the inlet. And I'm at 12.6, so I have to go back five miles. No, oh, no, seven, yeah, five miles exactly. So I'm gonna reset my clock. In five miles, I will know. Let's see if I can. Okay, I'm at the 7.6 mile north location where there's a pool off to the beach. There's a couple of surfers, which we have a lot of down here, but this looks like it might be a secret spot. I like secret spots. Not much really secret, but probably not too many fishermen either. Take a look, see what the story is out here. Well, this is a park access. Welcome to Brevard County. Nice. Right, there's no parking here. This is strictly a pull-off location. And we'll take the walk. See what the surf looks like. So we're really kind of hunting for a good place to get sand fleas. And as the summer progresses, another good spot for snook and tarpon. The Brevard County beaches, the Melbourne area, is pretty famous for good fish. And it's just, you know, it's just a long ride for me. I hate passing by good water to go to better water and then find out that, you know, you should have been here yesterday. But it's worth a walk. It's a beautiful morning. It's Saturday, nothing much going on. videotape this whole walk here. Car's locked. I got my keys in my back pocket. Should have checked that before. And we're down to another beautiful beach. Beautiful Florida beach. Boy, is it nice looking. I know, I should have brought the rod just in case. Smooth access. This looks like a pretty good place to fish. A good beach for sure. They go off to St. My $12 sandals. So far, so good. They're holding up. It's been two days so far. I'm gonna look for sand fleas. Any signs of them? I'm liking this beach already, so. 
doing a fishing trip down here soon. Don't see any noticeable colonies of sand fleas. They usually come out first thing in the morning, they're a lot easier to see. But first thing in the morning you have this uh, bloom of algae in the surf. Could be here, there could be some here. You learn something new with every fisherman you speak with, so I, I love to talk. And uh, there's sand fleas in here, he said they're small ones, but he had this really cool device on his rod. It's called a bionic finger, made by Canon. It's a line release, and uh, it looks pretty cool, rather expensive. He said they're about $30. But it sure may pay off when you're making a long cast, especially when you're bait fishing. Because, uh, as you can see here, I tape my finger up. That braided line, when you make that hard cast, it gets and starts cutting into your finger real quick. Well, this is a pretty nice location. I don't know what to call it. Uh, but since it's 7.6 miles past the inlet, I'm going to call it 7.6. Give this area a shot though. Pretty cool. Melbourne, Brevard County beaches. 7.6 miles north of the inlet. Parking only for about five or six cars. Worth a revisit. 